Hi guys. So I wanted to make this video, it's my first video, um, to discuss my recent diagnosis with ovarian cancer. Um, I was diagnosed on February 2nd of this year and it was after having a pain in my abdomen and seeing two doctors who basically assured me that nothing was wrong and um, as it turns out uh, I had a very large mass in my pelvic area that had originated in my left ovary and it was originally determined as borderline when they did the surgery which was an open incision on my abdomen um, that turned out to be incorrect so I was diagnosed with uh, stage 1a um, a mucinous adenocarcinoma and I'm basically starting this channel because I want to get my story out and um, let women know that you know this is a real issue and I have no family history of uh, ovarian cancer and um, other than you know um, my uh, asthma as a child and my allergies I'm fairly healthy and um, nobody really expected this or saw this coming which sounds silly but um, it's it's hard to explain um, how shocking it is to get this diagnosis and I wanted my story to be out there because a I want women to be informed about their bodies and if they feel that something is not right um, don't let a doctor tell you that something is normal if you know that it is not normal for your body so, again, I was diagnosed on February 2nd, and I've already had one surgery. I will be going back in for surgery on March 7th, which is this coming Tuesday. And at that surgery, I will be having a full hysterectomy and an omentectomy, or omentomectomy. Uh, it's uh, overwhelming. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be following that up with chemotherapy. So... I wanted to document this, uh, A, because I'm interested to look back one day and uh, go through my story from my own eyes and also through your eyes. Um, I know there's other people out there that have documented this journey, but I plan to uh, do it hopefully week by week so that anybody out there who has a recent diagnosis or knows and loves somebody who has gotten a recent diagnosis Although my, my cancer is early stage and it is treatable, um, I just kind of want to give women an idea of what they might be looking at as far as um, treatment and potential surgeries and uh, all that scary business that is associated with the diagnosis. Um, I did not expect at 36 to uh, have to start menopause and never be able to have any more children and um, that's been somewhat difficult to deal with. It hasn't been super easy, but, um, if it's going to save my life, then I'm willing to go through those things in order to make sure that my chances of recurrence are as low as possible. Uh, the current kind of chemotherapy I'm going to be having is, uh, carboplatin and paclitaxel. I've been doing a little bit of research on that, but I really don't want to do too much research because I don't really want to scare myself and um, I'll be documenting it so you will be able to see what it does to me and I plan on being brutally honest um, that's just the way I am I'm brutally honest about everything um, so yeah again it's scary and it's unexpected at least in my case and this all started just in early January of this year and it's now March 5th so it all happened really quickly and my whole life for this past two months has been basically about this diagnosis and it's been like a bad dream <laughs> and I just want to um, get everything over with I really want to get my surgery over with and I really want to get the chemo over with so that I can go back to my normal boring life um, please excuse my look today I have absolutely no makeup on whatsoever but I wanted to hurry up and record this video before I go to surgery on Tuesday and I do plan on going to work tomorrow which is Monday so I know I will probably find 
an excuse to not get this recorded, and I, I really wanted to get it recorded so that you can absolutely go through this with me. Um, I keep looking at my own face, but I know I should be looking at the camera, sorry. Um, so I'm going to do this uh, because, again, I want women to know what the symptoms are. I want women to know what it is like to go through the treatment. I want them to know that they are absolutely not alone, and I know it's scary. It is really, really scary, but... Um, it's going to be okay, I think, and I will take you on the good and the bad of this journey with me, whether you want to go or not. If you're watching, I assume you do. Um, once treatment is over, I don't know if I plan on turning this into like an ASMR channel because I am a an ASMR fan. I have been since about 2010. So if you uh, are interested in hearing my story and following me, um, go ahead and subscribe, and I will, um, like I said, I will I'll give you the gory details of uh, what surgery and treatment is like, and one surgery is down already. I have a large incision on my abdomen from an open procedure because my tumor was pretty sizable. I think it was uh, 14 and a half centimeters by 13 and a half by 7 and a half, so I have no idea how I walked around for however long without knowing that that was there, but I did. Um, it all started with me waking up with a pain in my side uh, on January, maybe January 7th-ish, January 12th-ish, I'm not positive. Um, but since then, it's been pretty overwhelming. There's been a lot going on, and I have a lot of support from my friends and family, and um, if you want to show me some support or some encouragement, um, I am grateful to you for that, so please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. I will answer as honestly as I can. Uh, so ask me almost anything, <laughs> and um, again, if you're interested in, in following this journey, go ahead and hit subscribe, and you can see all of my updates. I don't know what day of the week I'll be able to update, but I'll try to keep it fairly consistent for those of you who want to follow my story. Um, so what I have is stage 1A, mucinous adenocarcinoma, and I have already had my left ovary removed, and uh, again, Tuesday, March 5th, I'm going to be going in to have my ovary, my other ovary, my uterus, and basically everything removed, and then uh, some lymph nodes so that they can stage me and get me a final stage so that we can get a chemotherapy treatment plan. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Unfortunately, I don't really know how um, treatment is going to go. I don't know what the schedule is or how long it's going to be or how many I'm going to need. And I won't know that until after surgery. So I just recently cut my hair short because I know that I'm going to probably lose it during chemo, which terrified me and uh, made me cry quite a bit. <laughs> but um, it seems like a silly thing to be scared about because... You would think I would be scared more about the cancer diagnosis in general, and I really didn't even cry all that much until um, I heard chemo. So, again, I know what you're going through, and if you're going through this, it's very scary, and um, just know that I'm here. If you have any questions, if you want to watch me go through this so that you're not so scared, I promise you I will be honest, but um, I am also here to be supportive and answer questions if I can. So thanks for listening to me ramble, and I will see you soon.